hi everyone welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are going to learn how we can create a simple view in the laravel and how we can load it through the directly router without the controller and with the controller how we can pass the data how we can pass the array so let's get start so in the last video we made a uh, we learned about the controller and if you want to learn about the controller also then you can find the video link in the description box also or you can watch our previous video so now let's directly start with the view so here you can see that uh, last time i just load the view from the uh, controller so in this video i'm going to remove this code and directly load the view from the router and this is the by default configuration also but i will create a new router with that and learn something more like the how we can pass the parameter and all these things so first uh, in the get method first uh, this is the get request and in this first request first method i mean first parameter is the url and second parameter can be a function all right so this is my function and here i can return uh, it can be a view it can be a controller or it can be some string and all so let's say I'm going to write here welcome All right, so now just see that We got the default here. Okay, so now for can make the new con uh, new view you have to go with the uh, resource folder and here you can find the view folder just click on the new file just you can write here greeting for the new view greeting dot blade dot php why we write the blade because it's a template of the laravel so let's say i just simply write here html and here i just simply write here h1 tag oops And in this, I can write here greeting, greeting screen. You can simply write this. Okay, so for the load this, I can simply write here greeting without blade and PHP. So you can see that we got this. Okay, let's say I want to pass some parameters, or uh, so how we can do that from directly controller. This you can do with the just write an array here and write the array key name like name and the, with the name you can pass the value also so like krish okay so how you can get this value now so for that you just go here and you can write here greeting for you can write the double curly brackets for or you can use the php tag also and just write a dollar name and let's see so you can see this greeting for the krish you got here so how we can pass the id here if you want to pass the id directly so for that you can write here simply id uh, i means id from the query string from the url so you can write here id simply and let's say you just write dollar id in the parameter and let's say just pass the name or you can write here dollar name okay so just i write here john and you can see that we got a john if you just write here kelly all right so how you can get the uh, parameter from here also so now how we can load the new view and pass the data from the controller also so in the last video we made a controller in the http and in the controller this is a tutorial.php and load the view view file so in this video i'm going to same thing i'm going to first comment this one and open this one this route so here i'm not going to pass any id for now and okay so we can simply okay just remove first four for all we will add it at a letter if we required it so if i just refresh this we have to remove this one so you can see that we just load the default page here so if 
I want to put the greeting so just I can you can do the all these same things that we done here you can put put the same thing here in the controller also so let's remove these things and you can directly do that so name like Anil greeting for Anil all right so now how we can pass the array so for pass the array I can just write let, let's say I just write data here and with the data uh, let's say I make the key one belongs to Jackson and second param second array will be let's see John and same one same thing the third one can be okay David all right so and pass this data with that here dollar data and you can pass like uh, here items or whatever you want so let's say whenever you just uh, try to reload this and you will tell me that undefined name by undefined name because there is no undefined name now it's an item and if you are directly want to access this item this is array it will still give you the string array so you can see that okay uh, just let me check what I put the name here items and it will still go give you the array okay so now how we can handle this and we can simply handle this with the PHP uh, for each loop or you can say that the printer so I'm just showing that how we can get it with the printer and for each loop you uh, I suppose you know about that and why we are not using the template uh, uh, double curly brackets because I'm going to make the special video for uh, a, a template video so that we can learn all these things in the next video so this I am just uh, print here with the PHP printout function dollar items all right just now and let's see what's going on so you can see that we got the three arrays here all right and we can put the for each loop and for the for loop whatever you want here all right so this is the simple tutorial that uh, how we can use the uh, view inside the laravel and still if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box you can ask me on my facebook page link is given in the description box don't forget to subscribe this channel and please give a thumbs up to this video so thanks again bye bye